day two. Let me just go ahead and start off by saying Cedar Point has the best process of entering their park. They check your bags first, and then after that, they have an option for platinum or prestige pass holders for you to join. Oh, rapper's close still. Um, I might ride Winsey really quick, just so I can get that. Uh, I do want to see kind of what the park looks like from that view. Um, it is really cloudy today. I said, let me go ahead and wear my rain jacket just in case. But it does look like there's a couple, a little bit more people here, at least today. So uh, hopefully it's a good day today. We'll talk to y'all soon. All right, guys. So I just got off a of wind seeker. That one is actually pretty cool because of how much wind you get because it comes literally from like the lake. Really crazy seeing just all that water. I like that one. That's probably my favorite one out of all of them. Uh, Kings of Means, you know, it's in a really hot spot. Like it's literally right where the sun bakes down at every day. Um, that one was really nice. I, it probably is about to close for wind soon because of how windy it is today. Um, this place, I may eat here today. It opens at noon. It's called Melt Bar and Grill, but I think it's like grilled cheese. It also has like some beer. So I may check it out. See ya. So this part is finally open. Maverick is open, 20 minute wait. I'm headed there now, I gotta get the cred. I think this might become for sure in the top 10 for me. Um, don't know if it might be number one in the park, but I'm ready, I'm so excited. Steel Vengeance, I think I hear it testing, but it is still down right now. So that is pending. I do need to get some rides in uh, Camp Snoopy. So I have to check out that too. But this area is kind of interesting. It just looks pretty dead over here right now. So yeah. Also, I'm almost out of breath. This might be the longest walk I've ever gone for a coaster. Jesus, this thing is far. Well, that, they, they like throw it in that. All right, y'all. So I'm here with uh, Perry. He's uh, someone from our Discord. You got to try his pizza. <laughs> I'm also here with this guy, too. But uh, we're gonna try out the pavilion place. So everything's pretty much down at the park, and also gatekeeper stuff. So, yeah. So I got the chicken tenders, it was $18, it took basically $2 off. This is the grand platter, you get a, a roll, potatoes, I added some butter with it. But for $18, that's pretty good. I think it give you four or five tenders, it just depends. But it looks pretty good.
I guess. This is why I bring a tripod to the amusement park. As you can see, I'm in front of one of the best coaches in the world right now. And let me tell y'all, it's not my number one. Unfortunately, it's not my number one. Maverick has taken the crown on my number one. Maverick was freaking amazing. Maverick, man, the second half of Maverick just blew me away. I gotta say, it just blew me away. Y'all can hear Steel Vintage right now, and there's also the train about to pass by. Backseat was really good, you know? It was a definitely more drawn out ride. It had a lot, there was just a lot. It was like a lot to kind of just take in. I'm definitely gonna ride again. I've only gotten, I've only gotten one ride so far, but overall, I think it's a solid ride. I see why people like it, and I see why it's people's number one. I can't really make it my number one, at least not right now. I need to ride some other stuff. I need, I need to ride front row, I need to ride middle. I've got to do some other stuff and just see see what spot is the best one. Because backseat was good, but it just wasn't giving me what I wanted. I actually like Twisted Timbers more than uh, than Steel Vengeance. Believe it or not, I actually like Twisted Timbers more than Steel Vengeance. I know it sounds crazy, but I like how more compact Steel Vengeance, or Twisted Timbers is than Steel Vengeance. I do like the drop. The drop was amazing. You can tell it's a 200 foot drop for sure, but um, we're gonna see. I really like Maverick. I also rode uh, the Skyhop ride. I also rode the, <laughs> hold on. I also, man. I also rode the Skyhawk ride. That ride is really fun as well. Um, not, a, I think, it, yeah, I, it's, I think it's better than Finnegan's Flyer at a Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I do think it's better than Finnegan's Flyer, but that's gonna do it for right now. I'm about to meet up with someone and I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right guys, so. Got my man Danny over here. Met this dude uh, yesterday. Apparently he had a crazy car incident. Yeah. Trying to, he was gonna do a huge trip, huge coasted trip, and that kind of got canceled. But he's trying to get his car fixed now. But nevertheless, though, still vengeance. Just did back row or second to back row, pretty much back row. Um, he left it pretty much so like he gave me like right at green, a little bit tighter than green, and. Uh, uh, y'all, it's number one. I'm sorry. I know I just told y'all that Maverick was number one, but that that's that's gone. It's done. Uh, Maverick is number two now. I don't know what happened when I rode the first time. Maybe I was focused on the POV or something, y'all. But now I'm out of like I can't even talk because I <laughs> we Steel got back. It's hit so hard. First of so all, good. it's almost walk on. It's like a 15 minute wait right now, which is yeah. so rare. They say it's but, an hour, but it's like 20 minutes max. This right here, we're gonna be marathoning after. So he's gotta ride Maverick. He's gotta get that cred. After that, we're just yeah. running this. We gotta do, I'll try to do the coaster, like the kitty coaster tomorrow, run that, knock those out. But this is number one. I don't, this, right now, I don't really know anything that's gonna beat this. Maybe Iron Gwazi, but golly. This right, oh my gosh. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that was his first ride on Maverick. Maverick is insane. <laughs> Night ride, back seat, that was one of the best in the game. Oh my goodness. It, I want to make it number one, but I can't. Still vengeance at night. That was an experience like no other. Uh, we also met Dylan and Maddie. There's some awesome people. They bought the all season fast lane. They spent over a thousand dollars for that fast lane for the whole That's season. Insane. But they're only an hour away from the park, so they come here all the time. It's worth it. But um, we're going to go ahead and get our night rides on uh, Millie, Still Vengeance, and a couple other things. We got two more hours left, so yeah. Oh yeah, it's not super long. Same half an hour. So yeah. I'm gonna literally have to like sprint though. Yeah. We'll Hopefully have, they can get everyone going. We'll have to sprint over to Millennium. Okay. Try to get one more night ride, y'all. Might do Millennium or Gatekeeper, we just don't know yet. So bright. He so said, "What? It's gonna be so close." I know. It's We're gonna, gonna have to. Meters. Yeah, that's a long walk. Maverick, We're gonna have to run. Maverick for a night ride would be good though. It's short though. It's really short this time. Like that's basically like a ten minute wait. Man.
Y'all, we are on a trek right now. It is 9.53. We are walking so fast. So we can try to get a night ride on Millennium Forest. This is a long walk, y'all. Just to let you know, if you ever come here, you have ever been here, Steel Vengeance is so freaking far. <laughs> hotel now um yeah it was a great day i didn't get to ride raptor i didn't get to ride the my cedar creek mine whatever you call that thing the mine ride uh, i didn't get that one it's been closed pretty much the whole week uh what else i also needed to ride rougarou that one has is still flooded out and also iron dragon uh, and then there's like two kitty creds. I'm gonna get the kitty creds tomorrow and pretty much just do a couple of re rides. We rode, I think I rode Steel Vengeance probably in total about four times. I kind of lost count. So it was probably four times, though, I'm pretty sure, because the first time, and then we did it two. Yeah, so it was four altogether. It was four. So we got like two or three night rides, a uh, daytime ride, and like a sunset ride. A sunset ride. Maverick, we rode that three times. So I got my first ride, and then we rode it two more times, like at night, which was really good. And. I rode Gatekeeper, Windseeker, Skyhawk, and like a couple other things. But for the most part, it was just Rewrite City because there was just a lot of stuff down still. I mean, they're just trying to get the water drained out. They really are trying. It's it's hard though. I mean, they're, they're still having mechanical issues as far as Raptor. There's nothing really flooded anymore. It's just they're having issues with Raptor, so. But nonetheless, it was an amazing day. This park is just beautiful. I love seeing all the coasters lit up. Going through the structure of Steel Vengeance is just something else. It's it's really a surreal feeling. It just, it almost makes you a little bit delusional. And the reason why I say that is because you don't know what's really happening. You're just flipping, turning upside down this way, airtime, back forth. It just, it's crazy. This is definitely a place like no other. Well, you also have Six Flags Magic Mountain, but as far as the theming and then having Maverick and Steel Vengeance right beside each other is just crazy because it's literally a top two in the park for sure. I don't know if I've hit over 10,000 subs, but I'm pretty sure I hit over 10,000 after this vlog releases. If I haven't, well then, man, I'm not good at uh, quoting myself, but I think I'm at like 9.6 right now. And by the time this vlog comes out, day two vlog comes out, I should have hit 10,000. So if I haven't, then... I might just take this out. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably keep it in there though. I also should be going to Hersey Park in September. So stay tuned for that. Trying to get ERT on Wildcats Revenge. And last but not least, I really want to get to Dollywood and Florida and Cali. I'm really trying to figure out what do I want to do? Do I want to go to Florida? Do I want to go to Cali? Or, or do I want to go to Tennessee? So that's what I got to figure out in these next couple months. I got to save some money because... I didn't burn a lot of cash. I actually saved a lot of money. I think I only spent maybe like probably 30 bucks today. I am going to try to get a shirt though for Steel Vengeance and maybe Maverick because I really want a shirt. Um, I would love to have a Steel Vengeance shirt. So yeah. If you stayed along with me for this long, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you all for watching and seeing my reaction experience of Cedar Point. This is, it's an amazing park. And I think every enthusiast and non-enthusiast, if you just like coasters, or if you just want to try something different, come to Cedar Point. They have the Breakers Hotel. You can go to the beach. You can go to the water park. You can go to Cedar Point. There is plenty of things to do, and they got everything for you. So honestly, it's a great park to visit if you have the time and if you have the money. If you definitely have the money, you're going to love this park. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out.